It's December 2014. I'm sitting in the prayer meeting for my grandpa who has just passed away. It's a hall of a temple. I'm sitting in the front row and there's a photo of my grandpa right before me. The priest is telling stories about death, soul, reincarnation. He's explaining how the soul leaves the body and comes back in another generation of the same family. But I'm wondering, soul coming back to the same family? Why? Why not choose a better family? I don't believe it that this priest is telling random made up stories. I, I look around and I see that everyone is in tears. But I am the only one who is not crying. Sitting in this prayer meeting, I begin reminiscing what kind of person my grandpa was. He would sit on the porch of our house in his old baggy beige colored kurta pajama playing a melodious flute with his eyes closed. Often my grandma would scold him for random reasons while he was busy playing the flute. What kind of clothes are you wearing old man? Why don't you buy new clothes? Grandma would yell. But grandpa could not be bothered at all. And soon after he would finish playing the flute, he would open his grey eyes and innocently ask grandma, Darling, were you saying something? <laughs> that would get on my grandma's nerves, but grandpa would just chuckle and carry on with his flute. He was the kind of person who smiled more and complained less. Even in this photo right before me, he is smiling as if grandma just scolded him. While I am in this prayer meeting, the fragrance of incense is all around me. And I remember that day when my dad was not home and the kitchen pipes got severely clogged. My mom got worried she was not able to manage it. So my grandpa took out our ancestral sword and started unclogging the pipes with our ancestral sword. <laughs> He never cared about things. All he cared about was people. He loved people, not things. In this prayer meeting, I am not crying because I am angry at myself for not being enough with him. Also because the priest is distracting me with his random made up stories. I bottle up my grief inside and I stay in denial. Without shedding a single tear for my grandpa, eight years pass by. After eight years, I am having this dream. In my dream, grandpa is standing on the porch of our house and he is playing his flute with his eyes closed. Suddenly he stops playing. He gradually opens his grey eyes and starts leaving. I try to stop him, I try to yell, but I wake up with a jolt and a heavy heart. My pillow is already wet with tears. Eight years of bottled up grief is gushing out. I just can't stop sobbing. So my wife wakes up and she anxiously asks me, Baby, what happened? But I managed to speak just three words. I miss Dadaji. Mm. But my wife she takes my face in her hands 
smiles and says, Baby, what are you talking about? Your grandpa is right here. <laughs> she says that, pointing towards our six-month-old daughter who smiles more and complains less. Nice. She says that, pointing towards our six-month-old daughter who doesn't play with toys but loves being around people. She even has an uncanny affinity towards the sound of a flute. And she has grey eyes. I instantly wipe off my tears because I find comfort in the story of my grandpa reincarnating as my daughter. I simply want to believe in the story of souls that reincarnate in the same family. I pick my daughter up. I hug her as I would hug grandpa. Only to realize that we don't believe in stories because they are true. We believe in stories because they comfort us. Thank you.